ก้าจิงยังกันหุ่นเบนฟีกับสอร์การจลาคบลาลองหันเนกลาสิงอุเบลจงกัตเตโยกลาครันปัดมินจอรีกิกัตโตกันเนกิรายฮากบะกรายก
and according to those requirements by the Supreme Court, uh, the uh, State Cabinet had today uh, approved some of the names to be proposed and of course we will be talking to the concerned people and once we get confirmation from them, the necessary appointments will be made. Uh, in some of the district committees, we have uh, decided in the cabinet to give the discretion to the concerned department and the concerned minister to take the call on the members to be appointed at the district level. Uh, third was a very short uh, uh, agenda, which was the extension of uh, the services of uh, Major Dr. K. I. Singh uh, in the Zilla Senic Welfare as, is, as the Zilla Senic Welfare Officer, as the um, uh, his term had expired in on the 14th. So therefore, uh, uh, there was a proposal to extend the term for another three years, uh, which was cleared by the cabinet. Uh, we also had uh, an agenda on the Meghalaya Medical Attendance Rules 1981 and the Meghalaya Medical Attendance Rules 2021. Sorry, the amendment. Uh, to repeal the, uh, I'm sorry, I'll just repeat myself. Uh, there was a proposal uh, to repeal the Meghalaya Medical Attendance Rules 1981 and to pass the Meghalaya Medical Attendance Rules 2021. Uh, the main purpose of uh, bringing in the new rules was to give a uh, more structured approach to the medical reimbursements that are given to government employees. Uh, in the past, uh, there were a lot of grey areas and uh, there was uh, not defined uh, systems because of which uh, the departments had to work a lot. Um, and uh, in the sense that they had to go through every case in a different manner. At the same time, there were also areas where, because of non-clarity, uh, the expenditures sometimes were uh, not within the limits that uh, should be. And therefore, uh, keeping all these factors in mind, the um, Health Department has proposed that uh, new rules should be made. And in this new rules, uh, limits have been set uh, on the expenditures in um, different uh, categories as well as uh, recommendations to follow the central government's uh, health scheme rates which is called the CGHS rates so that again the rates go don't go beyond a certain point. Uh, at the same time in the past uh, 1981 rules there were a large number of areas which were not covered under the rules and so uh, in the new rules uh, those areas are, are also going to be uh, covered. And uh, uh, this, uh, you know, of course, uh, include uh, uh, treatments like dental treatment, like hearing aid, artificial appliances, um, kidney, liver transplant, uh, so on and so forth. Um, and earlier in the rules, these kind of uh, definitions were not there. And therefore, it led to a lot of additional uh, work to be done by the DHS. Uh, and therefore, these rules were necessary. We are hopeful that uh, with these rules, the um, overall uh, expenditure on medical reimbursement uh, will be much more structured and uh, will also be done in a much more controlled manner. Uh, it's done for a general, um, general uh, uh, internet connectivity for everything. Uh, now this project was actually uh, accorded and approved uh, in uh, 16th May 2013. And, uh, from that time, uh, the project has uh, uh, seen a lot of uh, challenges. As I said, this tripartite agreement was signed on 14th of October 2013. That will give you the precise date. Uh, and so the objective, of course, was to um, ensure that uh, proper connectivity uh, reached different parts of the, uh, of the state. Uh, but uh, as I was mentioning, that uh, there were certain areas and issues and concerns. And um, so the uh, Government of India as well as the Bharatnet, uh, uh, the, yeah, the Bharatnet, uh, I'll just tell you the exact organization, yeah. the Bharatnet project, uh, the Broad, Bharat Broadband Network Limited, BBNL, 
uh, they decided to amend the MOU that was signed in 2013 so that uh, certain things could be made easier for the implementation of the project, which led to the delay. So, yes, internet services for this for the children is obviously, and the school children is obviously one of the objectives also of this. But this is a very old project, not being implemented well, so we felt that we need to tighten things up and make sure that uh, the implementation is faster. Yeah, so after this uh, MOU is uh, signed, we have asked the department and uh, the officials concerned to move on it at the earliest. They have, I had a meeting myself of this uh, about uh, two, three weeks back, and uh, they have uh, indicated that they will take anything between uh, 18 months to 24 months to complete this. So we are hopeful that this, projects will be, this project will be completed at the earliest. I don't have the exact uh, percentage, uh, the numbers with me uh, right now, but the overall performance and the implementation has been very poor. So the numbers are very less. Um, it will be, uh, I can't give you exact numbers, but definitely not more than 15% uh, of this uh, project has been completed. So less than that. So the project has implementation is not at all up to the mark. And that's the reason why we are pushing and uh, the concerned uh, uh, stakeholders have said that uh, if these amendments can be made, then it will help the project move faster. And that's why we're going ahead with this. Uh, many reasons. Uh, the, uh, the companies who were working on this, uh, they kept moving forward. Uh, there was a lot of slackness, uh, I presume, and uh, uh, there was also maybe uh, not so much of uh, stress uh, put on this. Uh, reasons could be multiple, but as I said, that uh, after we saw that uh, the projects were not going as per the, uh, the speed at which it should, uh, we have been continuously pushing, and uh, ultimately we came to the point where, in fact, I don't if, know if you remember, but last year there was a, last to last year there was an IT um, minister's conference in Guwahati and even during that meeting we had brought up this message and uh, this issue that the implementation of Bharat Net uh, project is very very slow in our state and uh, after that initiation took place then uh, finally the government has agreed to as I said to amend uh, these uh, the MOU and uh, you know to move forward uh, to ensure that uh, uh, this is done in a speed manner.